What's up guys, Tom Reaction here. Your classic 125cc BS6 offerings that's actually in demand but very confusing to figure out the best for you is the Suzuki Access 125 BS6 and the Yamaha Fasino 125 BS6. So this video is for everyone who's in that train of confusion in making a decision from these two scooters. As you might know, this video like all our comparison videos is divided into 5 factors which are the design and build quality, specifications, ride quality and comfort, mileage and price. And these 5 factors will cover every aspect and that will help you in making the buying decision. So let's not waste any time and let's start with the first factor which is the design and build quality. Even though both are classic style scooters, they have a very different approach in styling. Fasino is more of like a curvy scooter while the Axis is like a flat style one. From the front panel, that theming is evident. And here both these scooters have their indicators and DRL as a single unit on the front panel. Then taking the headlight, the Fasino's headlight is a concave lens headlight and here this headlight is a halogen bulb. While with the Axis, the headlight is a boxy one but here this headlight is not a halogen bulb but instead it's a LED one. And here both these headlights range and coverage is good and that makes night rides easy and safe with both these scooters but the better one is unsurprisingly the LED headlight in the Axis 125 BS6. Then taking the handle, it's the typical scooter one in both. And about the switch controls, the Fasino is the winner with the better selection of controls. On the left, there is a dim bright switch, indicator toggle and horn. And on the right, there is the self start switch as well as the start stop system switch. And here what this switch does is that when it's turned on and you take a brief halt in traffic or for something else, the engine automatically cuts off. And later when you're set to go, the engine restarts with just the twist of the accelerator. The feature works great without issues and this will help in saving fuel. But with the Axis 125 BS6, no such feature is present and therefore the switch controls are the standard ones. On the left, there is just the dim bright switch, indicator toggle and horn. And on the right, the only control present is the self start switch. Then checking the instrument cluster, the Fasino 125 BS6 tries to retain its classic approach with a simple but design matching fully analog meter. It looks sleek, but based on information shown, it just shows the basic things. And here the Axis 125 BS6 does it better by using a panel which retains the classic look, but this one is a digital analog one. The digital portion is a small section with no backlighting, but even this small portion does show more needed info like the dual trip meter, oil change indicator, etc. Now the Fasino, even though it doesn't do much in terms of the info shown on the instrument cluster, what it does at its core is that it offers a lot of convenient features. And the first one we saw is the start-stop system mechanism. And the second one is the side stand engine cutoff feature. This is a very handy feature and I feel all scooters should come equipped with this feature as a standard. And by the way, Yamaha has done things like that and therefore no matter whether you get the drum or the disc variant, which are the two variants offered with the Fasino and they both have these two features. But Suzuki actually trims down stuff based on the models and there are plenty of models offered and the one shown here is the special edition and therefore as an extra you get a USB charging socket, retro colored seat, alloy wheels and chrome mirrors. Then for the side panel, both the scooters have a simple clean one with their respective grinding in 3D chrome finishes and here both these scooters bodies made of fiber. So when it's fiber, the first big doubt in everyone's mind is about the quality of the panel and to be frank, both have good quality panels but the very slightly better one from the two is the Fasino's body. Then moving to the rear section, well here the Fasino gets a unique tail light which is a V-shaped one and I do like it. It's like a simple yet elegant approach and that's mainly because there isn't any clutter. And from that, one disappointment is that the fuel filling inlet is still the underseat one. And once you open the seat and get access to the fuel inlet, the max you can fill is 5.2 liters. And also the pillion grab bar which has this matte black finish is a comfortable one. So now taking the Axis 125 BS6, the taillight structure is a familiar one and here the main thing that stands out is the external fuel cap. This is a very handy feature even though the opening mechanism needs the key. And about the tank capacity, it's 5 liters which is less compared to the tank in the Fasino and about the pillion grab bar used here, it's a slightly more comfortable one. With the Fasino, if you go for the disc variant, you get to choose from 7 color options and in that except for the copper color which is the one shown here and also for the dark matte blue, all the other 5 color options get chrome strips on the front and side panel while for these 2 color choices, these strips are of black finish. And with the drum variant, there are just 5 color options and in that variant also, the same thing applies. And with the Axis 125 BS6, the standard variant has 5 color options and the special edition has 4 color choices. Now we didn't touch the exhaust of both these scooters and here from these two, both have bulky exhaust and the one I prefer is the one in the Fisino. And here since it's a scooter comparison, storage space matters and the Axis 125 BS6 has the slight upper hand. The footboard spacing and the underseat storage spacing is sufficiently big and here the underseat spacing does take in my last size fully covered helmet and also in the front there is a front pocket available in the Axis which is missing in the Fasino and here there are two hooks available in the Axis in which the front is a non-retractable one and the rear is a retractable one. And with the Fasino, the footboard spacing is not as good as what we get with the Axis and here for the hooks available there is only one which is a front one and it's a retractable one. And about the underseat spacing, it's a very big one and it feels on par with the underseat spacing of the Axis. This also does take in my last size fully covered helmet and even after keeping that, there is a bit more space left. 
So that's all for the first factor and your boat scooters with their styling is targeting a wider range of riders and I guess since they follow a different styling approach, our options are more elaborate. For me, from this factor, the one I prefer is the new Ficino 125BSX and it's mainly because the Ficino has better features and also I do like the design of the Ficino more. But this is just one factor and also this is a factor where the choice matters based on personal preference. So let's move to the second factor, which is the specifications. This as always is just for reference and then here's the side-by-side -side engine spec sheet of both these scooters. As you can see, both have a 125cc engine and since both are of BSX standard, they are FI engines. Now for the max power and torque generator, the Axis 125BSX has the better number. And about the body dimensions, the Ficino is the longer one with the higher wheelbase, but for the ground clearance, the Axis has the better clearance and also the Axis is the heavier of the two. Ficino is weighing under 100 kilograms, which has its pros and cons, but for the tires used, the Ficino uses the better rear tire in terms of thickness, and for the suspension, both scooters get a front telescopic suspension and a rear swing arm one. And about the brakes, well, both scooters have disc or drum option for the front wheel and there is combined braking system available with the Axis and unified braking system with the Ficino. Well, CBS and UBS are the same tech and what it does is that when you apply the rear brake, both front and rear are applied together for better stopping. So from the spec sheet, there isn't much to differentiate here and therefore to get the clear picture of how these specs transform on road, let's move to the third factor which is the right quality and comfort. We'll start with the Ficino 125BS6 and yet this new Ficino is a powerful one than the old version and that is expected because of the higher engine capacity. But powerful doesn't mean there is quicker acceleration but instead it's still following the linear trend and that's good since it's a scooter. And the better power is much evident in the speed range between 30 to 60 km per hour. And yet this new Ficino has a better ride quality for a speed range from 0 to 80 km per hour. And in that speed range, there is literally no vibration or engine stress. And I totally enjoyed the ride experience in that speed range. But when we hit the 80 plus mark, the quality did degrade and there was a bit of vibration in the handle. And with the Axis 125BSX, it shines with the engine's performance. It's a better performing scooter than the Ficino 125. And here the Axis is quick to gain speed and you can feel it. Hitting the 60 mark from 0 is abrupt and the best ride experience was in a speed range from 0 to 85 km per hour. Now about that also there wasn't any vibration or engine stress and also you can touch the 100 mark for top speed with the Axis 125. And by the way the Eco Speed Indicator Strip in the Axis 125 BSX is actually a sleek addition. Now here even though you can hit very high speed for a scooter with the Axis 125 BSX, I won't recommend you do that. And there are a couple of reasons for that. First thing is that the best stability is max up to 80 km per hour and also for the braking even with the variant we tested which is the special edition, the safe panic braking speed is under 70 km per hour. Well with the Ficino even though it's a lightweight scooter it stays well planted in road even in the 80 km per hour range and that's all thanks to the wider ride tire but here also the braking performance is set basically focusing just for city rides. And here the variant we tested with the Ficino is the drum brake variant and in that the safe panic braking speed was below 60 to 65 km per hour mark but with the disc variant that number should be higher. And now for the ride comfort, well both scooters does offer great ride comfort with slight upper hand going to the Axis 125 BSX. It's mainly because the seat used in the Axis 125 BSX is the best in the segment for both the rider and the pillion. And that combined with the lavishly spaced footboard and also good quality suspension makes your rides great in terms of comfort. Now here one thing to note is that the Axis 125 BSX seating fell low set but since the footboard spacing like I mentioned is the best, I didn't face any issues with the seating. Well with the Ficino, the seating posture is upright and the seat felt high set than with the Axis but since the side cushioning is set in a sloping way, ground reach is very easy. And for me also with the Ficino, I didn't face issues with seating and for a reference, my height is 176cm. Now even though I did see that the Axis has slightly better ride comfort, it doesn't mean the Ficino offers bad ride comfort. In fact, the Ficino is also a very comfortable scooter and that comfort difference between these two scooters is not very much. Here, even with the Ficino, the seating is great for both the rider and the pillion and the footboard spacing was adequate for me. And about the suspension, even though it's not stiff set compared to its competition, it's not the best. But one thing I didn't mention is that the Ficino has silent start feature and that gives a very satisfying engine start and also that engine refinement is slightly better in the Ficino compared to the Axis 125BSX. And about the right control, well even though the Ficino is the lighter scooter, the Axis 125 was the better one to get through traffic. So from all this, the conclusion in this fact is that the Axis 125BSX has the upper end in terms of performance and ride comfort, while the Ficino 125 shines with the refinement, features offered and also the braking. But please do note the difference gap in this factor for both these scooters is very slim. So that takes us to the fourth factor which is the mileage. And here the clear winner in this factor is the Axis 125BSX. And the mileage the Axis gave is between 56 to 59 km per litre. Well, the Ficino on the other hand got a mileage of approximately 52 to 54 km per litre during our testing. Well, these are the numbers we got and it was done in a mixed riding condition. But please note, mileage varies a lot based on the riding style and also based on riding conditions. So all we are left with is the last factor and that's the pricing. And this is where Ficino has the biggest advantage. And as you can see, even the top variant of the Ficino BSX is priced less than the base variant of the Axis 125 BSX. Well, I guess that's everything for this comparison. And now it's time for the final verdict. 
Well, from all that we have checked so far, one thing is clear, which is both scooters are pretty good ones. And if your use is basically going to be just in city and you want all the best features along with great refinement and stability, and also pricing is very important for you, well, then you should be prioritizing the Fisino 125. But what you're looking for is the best performing scooter with really good mileage, and also it should be offering the best ride comfort. Well, then you should be leaning towards the Axis 125 BSX. For me, pricing is very important and also my usage is basically just in city and also since I do prefer the design of the Fesino more, my pick from the two is the Fesino 125 FI. But like I said, no matter which one you pick, you surely will enjoy the ride and also both will last well. That's all for this comparison video and if you enjoyed it, a like is much appreciated and a sub would be better. And before you leave, I would love to know your pick from the two. So please leave that in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye.